Hello there and welcome to episode five of Winning mm. Ways. We're here today at the beautiful Lloyd's Meadow on a... Uh, it's a bit windy, Jay, isn't it? It is. It's a bit lively today, isn't it? I think we should have brought our kites and not probably bothered the fish. Yeah. But we like bothering fish, mate, don't we? We do. Let's do some fish tickling. And today we're going to be catching. We're going to be talking you through sort of like a commercially autumn, uh, you know, catching everything swimming. You know, I mean, that's pretty much me down to a T. I love targeting everything swimming, but even more so today. So I've got with me sort of casters and maggots where I can feed them at me and 27 metres. Potatoes. Uh, and then I'm going to put a swimming long sort of 13 metres, just putting in little balls of micros and fishing expander over it. It's it's a little bit selective that way of fishing, isn't it? But we're yeah, going to definitely. tag in skimmers and the carp and that. Yeah, but as you say, it's about today. Everything's changing. It, it's really starting to, not, it's not cold. getting freezing, but the fish are starting to feel it. So it's not worth them summer days of attacking things and being selective in carp, carp, carp. Yeah, that's it, mate. Now it's time to just, just bend everything a little bit and find things down a bit and, and catch what's but, available. But if we see them start having it, then we can give it them because yeah. they have got like 12 pints of casters. <laughs> can we give them a lot of bait? Oh, yes, they're having it if they want it. Um, no. Touch on what you're doing then, Jay. You're I'm going to do something a bit, a bit weird. I'm going to, to begin with, I'm not even going to fish. I'm going to talk about peg management. But, right, how can you catch fish if you don't fish? Look at you. Are you just going to watch me? Just going to watch me, Yeah, I'll talk no, about what you've done. <laughs> but now I want to talk about just, just sensible ways approaching your peg, whether it's a pleasure session or a match. Yeah. That there's proper ways of doing things, isn't it? To just to make sure you get the moats out the peg rather than going for it straight away and blowing your peg when the fish aren't feeding, which I is think, typical for I now. I think the biggest thing, obviously, what Jay will talk through is if, if you are coming for a few hours pleasure fishing, it's where do I start? You know, time and time again we see it, don't we, Jay? When we're out coaching, we see anglers just like blazing hot sun just in the calmest bit, getting a nice tan, yeah. getting the wind <laughs> and stuff like that. And it's the same pretty much now, isn't it? You, it you is. want to be sort of like wind, wind, wind areas where obviously all the food particles are getting blown. I'm not, I've gone in the calm bit because it's a shortest walk and I'm tight. <laughs> but that's what it's all about, it's all about reading the water as you say mate, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, of course it is. But yeah, that, that's my plan, I'm going to have a little chat first, so talk about fishing a peg. Can I come and chat to you? Of course you can. I'm going to have a chat Let's have a chat well. together. Um, and then I'm going to do some negative tight feeder fishing. Just throwing little feeders and again, just a, a winter, or an autumn type approach on a feeder where you can still feed a bit of bait, but you're not lumping loads in a big method. Just get it all and grab big meth and just hoof it in, mate, and just wait for him to start pecking at it. That's we, what you do. They might it? do that later. Is that where I go wrong? Yeah, maybe. A bit I'll too just, much bait. I'll just go wrong, don't I? Just fill it in too much. Right, let's, uh, let's, do we let's do go bait? through some bait. Let's yes. show you what we're going to use today. <laughs> 